Hi, let us understand how to create our own custom image using the docker file. This is a simple example for a docker file where I am going to have n number of instructions. Based on the instructions that I have provided, the layers would get created. Layers are nothing but it's going to have the content based on the instructions that we had given. For example, it's going to get the latest Ubuntu and it's going to label it. Then it is going to update the packages available within the operating system. So what will happen, it will create layers one after the other and the biggest advantage of having this layer is all these layers are read-only layers. So in future, if I am going to create any other image using the same layer, say for example, I am going to reuse the Ubuntu latest in some other image creation where it will go ahead and use that particular layer. In that way, it's going to reuse the layers and occupy less space as well as the build operation will also be very very fast and quick. Whenever I am doing a rebuild after making the change to the docker file, the layers where only the change happened will get rebuilt or will get created once again and it's going to consolidate the layers one after the other and create the final image. Every image that we are creating will have a read write layer where any change that I'm making to the files will be applied against the read write layer. Say for example, I have a file A in layer 3 and if I am making a change to this particular file A, that file will get recreated and it will get updated. So when it is creating a container, it is going to use the file A which is updated, that is the file available within the read write layer and it is going to supersede the file A which is available within the layer 3. So indirectly, internally it will be maintaining the versions but for the users, it is going to be the effective file system after applying all the layers one after the other. On top of it, it is going to apply the read and write layer. We are going to have a detailed discussion on few of the frequently used verbs like from, label, run, expose, cmd, arguments, environmental variables, entry point, expose and lot of the verbs that we are going to use, we are going to see a demo. So in a quick summary, we had seen how the image layers would get created and uh, what a read-only layer means and what is the thin read and write layer and their purpose.